Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our uh, first of two live sessions where we're going to demonstrate uh, exactly the four-step process that can have you talking to people literally on a daily basis and closing sales. All you need is a Facebook page to do it. All you need is a LinkedIn page to do it. And um, we're going to be looking. We have some new students that are here. Uh, Todd, we're going to be pulling up your profile on Facebook and LinkedIn. Take a look at it. And uh, let's see who else. We'll see who else uh, pops into this, okay? Now, 99% of what you want to accomplish can now be done on a mobile phone. Have a new announcement, and Jim, you are, this is what you've been waiting for. Uh, for those of you that go to uh, maxsteingart.com and you pull down the Endless Free Leads menu, uh, you're going to see we have our Spanish edition of the scripts book that is finally up and it is finally available. And uh, it, uh, you know, believe it or not, we had more trouble with the back end of it. So our online scripts book that you're used to in English uh, is now joined by our Spanish version. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not in any position, but it works the same way, okay? Works exactly the same way. We have uh, really some phenomenal scripts great examples of how to build the business and we've added to it uh, some training that you're not going to find in the original scripts book primarily because this is the first piece of our training that we put into Spanish so we wanted to make sure that people that had the scripts book would be able to use these scripts. So, if you don't speak Spanish, uh, you're not going to understand it. But, that's okay. We went live with it last, last night. Now, there are millions of people looking for jobs to increase their income on Facebook and LinkedIn. More people than ever before are actively seeking ways to increase their income before and during the holiday season. They want a flexible schedule. They want to earn more than what an hourly part-time job could pay them. And you have their solution. These people are easy to find, easy to connect with. And you could easily be talking to 10 to 20 people a day, enrolling two or three people into your business every week. Now, there's an easy way to build your business. And there's a hard way to build your business. And unfortunately, most people today are building it the hard way. Now, what you're looking at, these moving images are called emoji GIFs, G-I-F. And uh, one of the things that we've been introducing over the last 60 days is using GIFs when you communicate with people has an amazing impact on the people that you're talking to. Now, the truth is that a lot of you are being lied to. Someone is lying to you. And you have every right to be angry. You have every right to be mad because the bottom line is... <laughs> There are certain things that you don't have to do. So let's be clear. You don't need a list. Because Facebook and LinkedIn become your primary list. You don't need a website. I want you to think in terms of duplication. 
If you bring somebody into your business on Monday, by Tuesday or Wednesday, if they've got to create a website, if they have to, you know, even making the list is an activity that initially they don't have to do because they're already connected to people on Facebook and LinkedIn. They certainly don't need a blog and they don't need a funnel. Now, two weeks ago, I was talking to the top earner in a company who, after she attended our training, called me up. She was frantic because she just spent, I think it was 12 grand on a professional to help put together a blog and a funnel. She says, is it true that I don't need any of these things? I says, absolutely. Not to mention about it. Think about it for just a minute. If you bring somebody into your business tomorrow, can they afford to spend $12,000 to set up a website, a blog, and a funnel? And how long is that going to take? It doesn't duplicate. Well, the good news is if you have these things already, if you spent the money, well, the next thing you have to do is you have to buy leads. No. No one has to buy leads because leads are free. You don't have to spend money on traffic, getting people to your website, getting people to your blog, or getting people to your funnel. And you don't have to spend money on advertising. Because talking to people is easy. Once you join Facebook and LinkedIn, put up a profile, you've joined the party. You don't need to spend money on anything else. As a matter of fact, all you need is a simple profile page, a Facebook phone app, a LinkedIn phone app, and an hour or two a day, and you can be talking to 20 people a day about your business. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that duplicates faster than what I'm going to show you. Now, over the summer, we made a discovery. I call it the 90-second discovery that will produce more enrollments for you on Facebook or LinkedIn. But it only works if people can see it. As a matter of fact, it only works if people can see you. So most people on Facebook and LinkedIn are invisible. And they don't even know. Your settings on Facebook and LinkedIn limit your visibility. They restrict its visibility to the people that you know on your first level. Some cases, they'll let people see it that are on your second level. In other words, your friends or the friends of your friends. But in most cases, it's limit. Change the settings. Make yourself visible and your profile can help you build your business faster, connect you to more people than you know, and help you talk to perfect prospects everywhere in the world. But it only helps you if people can see it. I can't tell you, every week we go through boot camp and we find people who have bought into all kinds of trainings and lo and behold, they're not getting the results that they were looking for. So, go from invisible to invincible. Go from frustrated to successful. Simply, the first step is make yourself seen. And that's why we're giving away a part of our Endless Free Leads mobile program. Go to maxdongard.com forward slash profile giveaway. Get it. And you'll be able to make sure that people are going to see who you are and what you're doing. Now, I'm going to uh, scroll down here, and I'm going to look at some of the folks that are here. And we'll see how visible you are. And, uh, you know, I love it when old students show up here. 
So let's take a look at Henderson. Aside from the fact that you're up early. See if we can find you on, on LinkedIn. And I'm going to guess, Henderson, that this is you. And let's see if we can find you on Facebook. Okay, so um, Henderson has a follow me button. Henderson, I'm unmuting you, if you can talk. Um, what you're doing here with About Henderson, you, you really want to put something in here that's going to give people a little better understanding of who you are and what, what um, And what qualifies you to do that? If we look at you over here, when uh, Henderson, can you talk? I hear you, but I. Well, let's, uh, let's move on to somebody else. The bottom line for all of you, bottom line for all of it, you is conversation. So what Henderson is doing here, he has all kinds of opportunities to be talking to people that were in the Air Force, all kinds of opportunities to talk to people, to people that clearly would be interested in what he's doing, what you're doing. Let's take a look at uh, Todd. We're going to bring your page up. So we go over to your, t your timeline. Todd's got the intro in. He's pretty much filled in all the blanks. And he's pretty much good to go with that. Let's take a look at his LinkedIn. So clearly, Todd is just getting started here. And your background sets the stage for you to talk to as many people as you want that share your experience.
Okay, so let's uh, take a look at who's here. And I have to tell you, it's always nice to see longtime students that are back. And John, it's nice to see you. I mean, it looks like we go all the way back to, let's see, two, nine years. That's a long time. And a lot has changed in the last nine years. And you've you've kind of been watching it happening. Let me unmute you. Okay, now this is John's page. And uh He's got everything filled out. All of his boxes are filled. And let's do LinkedIn. Now, John, one thing that you want to do is on LinkedIn, you can do exactly the same thing that you do on Facebook, which is stay logged in, okay? Stay logged in. Let people know that even when you're not around, that people can see you. So we got your birthday. It's visible. And they have a, a new feature that will make sure that your email address is also visible. <clears throat> okay, now, looks like... Uh, Okay, so what we're going to do, because I want to demonstrate how this process works, I am going to log out of my LinkedIn account, and we're going to jump into gyms. And we're going to pop over here. So, Jim, what's, what, what has you so excited about this one? Morning. All right. I'm sorry. What was the question? No. What has you so ex what what has you so excited about this one? Which one? The uh... this Aaron. Oh no no that's Eric. 
is that I think I wrote Eric. Ah, you know, you're right. But you're asking about the Spanish version. That's exciting. <coughs> Yeah, we had a, a dialogue here. And she likes my emojis. Um, who, who, who was the person that we did the other day? That uh, Trissy, T R I C I. She hasn't responded to. Uh, I don't think she did. P R I C I. Okay. Now with Trissy, we sent this last night, and and one of the things that we used is, and as we were sending this, okay, as we were sending this. We, um, well, we, we, we sent her this, um, we asked her on Tuesday if she'd like to know more about what you were doing. And she said, it sounds interesting. Send me more information. And then what happened was, um, Jim kind of jumped into it. And sometimes, you know, you send people something that you wish you could take back. Okay, you wish you could take back. And so we have a strategy in the scripts book that you're absolutely going to love. Okay. And we've used it successfully dozens of times. And so what we did was we came in here and we used the emoji. Oh my God, please disregard that last message. The information you got wasn't meant for you. I was about to send it to someone else and somehow it went to you. I had five chat windows open at the time. This is what I meant to send to you. So when you're ready to talk to people about your business, some and they don't know anything about it, we have a script. Actually, it's yeah, it's a script where you're going to have to explain to the person what you're talking about. And this has literally worked. We've confirmed it at least 3000 times. 3000 times already. To be successful in network marketing today, one must first be passionate about the company you're working with and the products they produce. Too many people get into network marketing for the wrong reasons, like just trying to make money and end up failing. Network marketing has changed a great deal today thanks to social networks like LinkedIn and Facebook. You don't have to chase your friends and family or go to meetings or do presentations in people's homes, nor do you have to spend money on advertising, paying for traffic to drive people to a website, or buying leads. Now, she told us she doesn't know anything about network marketing, but we're just covering our bases. And then she's typing, reading. I had to, I was tempted to write back, say, typing slow. <laughs> Today, it's possible for someone with your passion for helping others, your coaching skills and experience working with people and your coaching skills, whoops, to be very successful in network marketing. Achieving success in network marketing today, however, is a team effort where you work with someone that is truly dedicated to helping you succeed and is part of a group of people who each help each other become successful. I'm partnered with one of the top earners in the company who is devoted to helping me succeed and everyone that I work with, the most successful people in network marketing today, people making high six and seven figure incomes, all devote their time to developing people and coaching them to be successful in a business and in life, something you are already doing now. I have a system that is enabling me to build a growing business in my company on LinkedIn and Facebook that is generating a growing stream of residual income in an hour or two a day. It would help you create additional income to support your budding coaching business. What's the system? He's talking about what I've taught him. I'm going to send you a link to a two-minute video 
questionnaire about our products that are easy to understand if I go through that, that are easy to understand if I go through it with you while you watch. When would be a convenient time for us to go through the info together? She saw it. Now, she hasn't come back with it. Now, we're waiting for her to respond. But I'm gonna, I want to scroll up really quick, and I want to take a look at some of the motivational images that we sent her along the way. And it doesn't look like we've sent her any. So, what we're going to do we grab this off of the internet. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And we're just going to say good morning. Whoops. Okay, and now we're just going to have to wait for her to come back and react and respond. Now, the best part of this is, you see that little green donut up there? She's on, she's logged into LinkedIn. She's on her mobile. And you will absolutely be amazed at how quickly people react and people respond. Okay? And this is what it's all about. It's all about conversation. And so Jimmy writes, I love this approach. Before I used to call and call and ask and ask if it's a good time to show you. <laughs> no. Now, we know she's going to come back to us. So I'm going to log out of your account for just a minute. And uh, we're going to log into Karen's account. And Karen is talking to Morgan. Morning, Max. Good morning. So you got a hot one, huh? Yes, I've been talking to her uh, for a few days now. Mm -hmm. And what I like about her is uh, she graduated from the same college I did, and she lives in my area. Mm -hmm. And so she's right now in the middle of searching for the right opportunity in her regular career path but she would be great at doing this as a side project. So let's look at how the comment. So, all right. So Okay, well, this, you couldn't, this, this is what you want. Let, let's just check and make sure, let, let's see how we did, all right? So this goes back to October. You reached out to her, she accepted you. How's it working for you? She's been on here since 2013. Um, well, we talked about this. Um, the, the first thing you really want to do is you want to, ask, you know, what, find out what do they do. And um, still doing seasonal sports retail. Okay. Okay. 
Or she hadn't thought about it. So she's just doing social media marketing for a company. Okay. And she says, I attended seminars in Milwaukee for Amway before. The only thing I think I would have done here is she said, I attended seminars in Milwaukee for Amway. Okay? So, um, her perception her perception of network marketing right now is based on what she what she saw at some of these seminars. You know, they get up there, they draw the circles. Right. So, okay, well, she hasn't seen this yet. Uh, now, the thing that I would do is whether you, um, see, he, he, here's the thing, what, what you're doing here is you're, Okay, you saw what we did with Jim. And we, right. we gave a, a little bit more of an explanation of what it is. Okay, in other words, you give it, you know, before, you know, to be successful in network marketing today, you need to be passionate about the product, passionate about the company. And... Um, give her a little history of, you know, what it's all about. Because what's happening right now, you're saying, hey, listen, um, I, I look forward to sharing more about what I do. But her perception is, okay, I was at the Samway thing. Uh, I saw the circles. I got to bring people. I mean, there are a lot of things that young people are really going to like about the social aspects of network marketing. Okay, you're, you're, right. ar you're around like-minded people, the events are a lot of fun and, and you know, but um, like I said, her perception of what network marketing is, is based on, you know, what she got at Amway. So for example, when she said here, I attended, seminars for various network marketing companies but I never work with them okay so um, okay so she she so she she attended them for Amway that you know what other ones did she go to yeah and and what you say here is you know it's really a good idea to get familiar with there are a lot of companies, very, very successful network marketing companies today. And some of them are more social media friendly than others. So it's good that you were able to see that. Um, how long ago did, well, you know, she's, again, how long ago did you go? Because you're not, you're not going to be the first person that is talking to her about network marketing. 
So, yeah. so, so that's why, you know, if we go back to what Jimmy did, mm -hmm. you know, he's basically, hey, laying it out for her, you know, to be successful, you got to be passionate about the products. You don't have to chase your family. You don't have to chase your friends. I mean, she just didn't go to the seminars to, to see the show. Somebody invited her with the idea of getting her in the business. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and so in this situation, you could also add, you know, working, you know, building the business with you and I building the business together, man, it's a lot easier than the way they do it in Amway. And so what I would do here is, um, do a comeback with the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 no, no. So you, you sent this, what you sent this back to, you sent this this morning, right? Yeah, I did. All right. So, um, what we'll do is, um, Well, we could we could do what? Um, let, let me pull it up. Where is case studies? Well, I tell you, the easiest thing to do is let's go back over to Jim. Because again, this is completely duplicatable. So we go to Jim. And it looks like somebody wrote back to him already. Okay, and here we got it. Uh, okay, here. Now, what I think I'm going to do to make this easy. Hey, Max. Yeah. Looks like you, you coached that guy, Christopher, and I ran into him. You remember him? Huh. Uh... Do I remember him? Um, you know, I gotta tell you something. I, don't, um, I, I, I need to have my second cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I, t to be honest with you, I, 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 I don't. Um, um, let, let's do this. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. Why oh, don't wanna do that? I don't wanna close the tabs. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna open up a new private window. Go over here to LinkedIn. We'll sign in here with Karen. Then we'll come back over here to messages. Okay, so go back over to Jim. And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna pop yeah, back. Yeah, that's what I thought you would do. The comeback of. Yeah, you know. well, <laughs> what, what we're really gonna say. You know what we really look. What we're gonna say is that um, I meant to send you something first, so it's not like it's that bad. Okay. So this is it right here. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna come back over here. Then we're going to come back. Now, whenever you do these things, so we're going to say here, OMG, I had some other information
before ascending the previous message. I'll put LOL. Okay, so this is now we, what we're going to say here since you've attended an Amway event and perhaps and some other event other company company events uh, I I'm not sure unless you know about and how the business works. Um, like Amway, uh, emphasize meetings and chasing friends. Um, company much different and we have the best Okay, now, then we're going to come back over to Jim. Come back over here. Today, it's possible for someone right out of college And she has social media marketing skills already. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there are Or you could say your understanding okay and then we're gonna come back over here Something you will
because she's not doing it now. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. Now, it would help you create an, create an, it would help you create an income stream, not additional. that would be greater than any of the jobs you're looking at right now. She's an intern. They don't pay her a lot. Yeah, she's basically working in retail marketing. Yep. I mean, Sky Zone and... Mm -hmm. So She's then, a customer service person there. Now, now this part here I can send you a link. Okay. So th th this is th this gives her a little bit more of a feel for what you're doing, and then we can finish it up. with something like um, Okay, now let me pop out of this. Let's go back over here. And, uh, y yes, I will. So let uh, When someone asks you, do you have experience with network marketing yourself? And I've already told her my one sentence, what I do. Well, How would you? Well, respond? yeah, yeah. If, so, if somebody comes back and says, hey, you know, do you have any experience in network marketing? Of course I do. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> you know, you when, when people ask you what you do, you, um, I'm going to copy this here. Um, we had a person named Harmony who responded, and I had already told her uh, my one line. Right. And I didn't know if I should come back and say, I've got 17 years experience in our marketing, or would that be too overwhelming? Um. No, um, what, no, okay, no, no. Let me send this over. Um, no, what, what you would do is you, you know you would say to her uh you know hey you told her i you know corporate america and i got this growing internet business so right I already did. Mm -hmm. right right so now you're gonna you get now you're gonna elaborate you could say um um you know if they want you know what's if somebody come back and says what kind of experience do you have uh, to a website or, okay, here we go. What you can do is you can say, yeah, you know, I've been in this industry for a, 
for years and uh, and and you know that's all part of your story um, you know you just don't unlike a lot of people that are going to um, uh, you know come out and and just throw up all that over everybody right at the get-go you know you're, you're giving it to her in you're giving it to her in uh, little doses, which is a lot, you know, and that's really all you're doing. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pop out over here. And I'm going to jump into Eric's account because uh, I did this with Eric on um, Tuesday, right before our... Um, Right, right before boot camp started. It was our final boot camp session. And, um, so he's got Eric over here. He's who's about to schedule a time. We got Darren and we have Hunter. Okay. Now I did these with Eric in a, in, a, in, a, in a private coaching session. So this is going to give you an idea of how the process works, right? And what I like to do with the people I work with in coaching is I asked Eric to send out the first message, send out the second, okay, and then wait. And then I jump in and I did all the talking. Okay? So Darren here is looking for an opportunity. And if you looked at Darren's profile, looking for new opportunities, he's in Australia. Highly accomplished professional with 18 years of experience in building strong relationships with Asian and non-Asian manufacturers, distributors, reps. So you come down here and you look at the regional sales manager, sales director, area sales director. I mean, these are pretty impressive positions, all warranting a six-figure salary. <clears throat> so Eric writes to him, hits him with the first message. As it turned out, they'd been connected on LinkedIn for two years, but they never really talked. So... I noticed that you're looking for a new opportunity. Why'd you leave your last job? I typed that. Sent him a little emoji. And then he comes back and he said, well, we moved back to Australia from Japan. After taking on a new position, I was caught on the wrong side of a restructure. I actually do have a job right now, but I'm still under probation. Okay. Haven't updated my profile, but I'm open. So he, he's not working. Well, so this, so this is what happened. He, he came over, got a job, five months, let him go. And so I have a number of businesses going. Some started faster than others, but they're all cooking. Now, what are you currently doing for work? Because he said, I have a job. I sell renewable warranties. So I jump back in. That's a big change from your previous job. How does your income today compare with what you were making before? And he goes into this big, long explanation about the business. And, I, you know, I've taken a big hit in my income. This is why I move. If given the opportunity, I'd like something where I don't have to travel. So on Tuesday, in the morning, before boot camp, he said, I understand you're busy with your business. It looks like most of the U.S. or even your local Houston area. So if you are tire kicking or looking at potentially doing something in either Australia, you know, are you looking for brokers? So now I jumped in at 6. So we, had a, we had a coaching session from 6 to 7. And then, of course, boot camp was 9 o'clock. So I typed. Sorry for that delayed, my delayed response. My business has been growing exponentially. 
I'm not here to kick tires. I'm actually looking for people to work with to do more business in all of the places you mentioned. What experience have you had with network marketing? You got to ask that question. Well, good to hear. If you're open to a call, gave them the number via WhatsApp or FaceTime. You don't want to rush to the phone. You want to qualify people first. So I typed, I'd love to talk to you now, but I'm tied up for the next few hours. Perhaps tomorrow would be better. When I asked about your experience with network marketing, I was referring to companies like Amway, Herbalife, or Newskin. Are you familiar with these types of companies? So he says, yes, I'm familiar with, and, and Eric is going crazy. So, yeah, you because know, we're watching the guy type. We're watching him read it. I'm familiar with these type of companies for multi-level marketing, and I have friends who have done it as well. But I'm not after that line of opportunity as they are established product lines. All of them are pretty big in Australia. So I wrote back 12 minutes later, I was using those names as examples to determine your level of knowledge. I'm working with a company called ACN and our product lines involve, revolve around telecommunications, banking, and energy. We get paid every time someone turns on their lights, sends a text message, or swipes the credit card. Now, what you have to do is you have to show the person on the other end why they need what you have. There are huge opportunities in the countries mentioned. We've just opened up Japan, Mexico, and Colombia, and we're about to open Peru and other countries in Latin America. Now, I've developed a system, he's talking about my system, to build our business on the internet so you can build it from home, on a boat, or at the beach, LOL. Your friends probably try building a business the old face-to-face way. This would be a ground floor opportunity in some very exciting countries. You won't need a passport because you can do this from home and you'd be making much more money than you're probably making now. Would you like to know more about this? And he says, absolutely. And it's a shame about not needing a passport because I have a business one with, okay? And now they began the process. Now, while we're talking to Darren, we're also talking to Hunter. Hunter is a young man. He's 23 years old. Supply chain coordinator at PK Industrial. You come down here, you see you stop working in September. Stop working. Out of a job. Come down a little further. He was in the Marines for four years. So, Eric did the first one, okay? This is what everybody does. I asked my coaching student, send out the first message, send out the second one, and then I jump in. How long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? Been on it since I got out of the Marines. So, how long have you been? Thanks for your service. I've served my time in the Air Force as well. I love helping fellow veterans. How long have you been out? Since January. So, I see that you're not working at PK International any longer. What are you doing now? I'm typing now. I'm currently seeking work, but I also applied and was accepted at UH. So, we asked, what is UH? You follow, you got the scripts, but you follow the conversation. Congratulations, what are you studying? Industrial engineering and minoring in supply chain management. Why? Why? It supports what I was doing while I was in the Marines, which was similar to project management, but I also was in the logistic and supply chain field. Well, that makes sense. When the school start? Notice, this is live. He's typing, I'm typing. And Eric is just, he's giggling. This was like the icing on the cake. Eric got it. Applied for the spring semester, but I'm waiting for the VA to send my letter so I can use my GI Bill and register for classes. Good for you. I hope everything works out. Now, while you're waiting to go to school, I would think that you're going to need a job. And once you actually start school, a job that gives you the flexibility to work when you want so you can attend classes. And then we got our transition line. Many of the veterans I work with on LinkedIn are all launching new careers and generating growing streams of residual income. 
What experience have you had with network marketing? It's not a lot. I've always been in the logistics field. So again, now here, this is, this is kind of a, this is kind of the interesting part about this. I said, okay, Eric, here's what we have to do. We, there's a series of questions that we want to know about Hunter. We need to tell him when I mentioned network marketing, I'm referring to companies like Amway, Avon, and Mary Kay. We want to ask him, does he plan on working while he's going to school? And, uh, you know, how do you like learning new things? I'm always interested in learning new things myself. What is the salary range of professionals in the field you're about to enter? And what kind of salary can you expect when you start working? So we had all of these here. And then inadvertently, I hit the send button. So we got all of these. So we use the, a little emoji. Oh my God, I can't believe I sent that to you. I was talking to five different people at the same time and I was taking notes and writing down questions. I put that aside to write to you and I ended up sending you my notes by mistake, LOL. And then we asked the question we wanted to ask. Logistics is a very big field with many facets. What part of the logistics field and our management do you envision working in? Well, it's fine. Mistakes happen. What question did you want me to answer? And I'd be, like to be a project manager and work with people as I set up budgets, timelines, and productions. So I wrote back, thanks for understanding. Look at the time here. Project manager sounds like an important part of helping a business operate efficiently. How much money can you expect to earn doing that? Well, it depends on what market, honestly. When I was a supply chain manager, I was making 65 k a year. But doing, going to project manager, I expect about the same, maybe a little less. What, is that the most money you've made since leaving the Marines? Yeah, before that I was making 40K. So we wanted to learn more about him. That's not a lot of money. Are you married? LOL. It's a lot to me. Since I was making 32K a year as a four-year corporal. And I'm getting married at the end of the year. Congratulations. Where are you going on your honeymoon? Haven't thought that far ahead. Well, that's only two and a half months until the end of the year, LOL. What kind of work does your fiance do? She's in the food industry. By the way, look down here. Mark, what is next? Where does one sign up? This is the kind of activity you'll have when you follow the scripts. How do you like learning new things? I like building my skills. So I type, it never stops. Now, there are all kinds of opportunities in many different fields available to veterans like you today where you could be making much more money than in your chosen field of logistics. Would you be open to looking at the possibility of doing something else? And Vivian, I'm going to put this in there for you too. Okay? Yeah, since I'm currently unemployed, well, when would be a good time for us to talk? They set it up. So, folks, this is the kind of activity that you could have. And you could be talking to 10, 15, 20 people a day. A day. Now, Facebook and LinkedIn are making lots of changes. Both are changing all the time, but you can prospect and recruit on both for free. Using LinkedIn and Facebook together are an unbeatable combination.